Thank you, Senator Whitehouse. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Ritz, you are a political activist, aren't you? I, I would not consider myself that at all, Senator. Okay. When you were sworn in as U.S. Attorney, you gave a speech, didn't you? I did. Okay. Here's what you said. I want to quote from your mm -hmm. speech. But you should know that justice for me is about more than putting people in prison. For me, it's also about who votes and how hard it is to cast that vote. It's about where pipelines go. It's about where bus routes go. Justice is about whether people in all zip codes can get along whether women have access to health care, whether citizens have affordable housing or clean drinking water. Sometimes those are Department of Justice issues. Sometimes they are not. But for me, they're all justice issues. Did I read that accurately? I, I believe so, Senator. Okay. Did you really remove the Tennessee state flag from your conference room? Senator, I, I appreciate you asking about this again. As the chief federal law well, enforcement... Well, did you do it? So I felt it was fundamentally inappropriate when I gave press conferences and similar statements to the public to indicate or suggest somehow that I spoke for the state, which I don't under our system of federalism. Are, are, are you embarrassed to be from Tennessee? Not at all, Senator. I am from Tennessee, grew up as a public school kid in Tennessee. But you were embarrassed to have their, the Tennessee that's, flag. That's, that's not it at all, Senator. Okay. You have a history of lying to your professional colleagues, don't you? That's not true, Senator. Okay. Do you know a, uh, a former public defender named Stephen Shankman? I, I knew him to a degree. I'm not sure we ever had any cases together. I knew who he was, yes. Well, in a private email, not meant for public consumption, to another one of your professional colleagues, this is what Mr. Shankman said, talking about your lying. He said, it is unfortunate that this is not the first, second, third, or whatever occasion that this sort of thing has occurred. But everyone should be aware of this unfortunate pattern of behavior. You should be aware, he said to the other lawyer, before the other lawyer dealt with you, your client should be aware, and you should proceed with extreme caution. Was Mr. Shankman lying? Uh, to the degree he suggested that I acted unethically, that was not accurate, and it wasn't in any occasion, much less on num numerous occasions. Okay, let's talk about this case, United States v. Von Rico Weber, which you claim to not remember. But before I do that, a few seconds ago, you you, uh, you lied to Senator Hawley, didn't you? I, I, I'm under oath, Senator. I did not lie. You said you have no knowledge of, of, of any complaint, professional complaint made against you, didn't you? I said I have no knowledge of any sort of formal complaint, and he read from a letter that I don't believe I ever saw. And if you were that, shocked. If, you if, never heard of that before. If there were a formal complaint, that, as I said, I had not known about that. Okay. You were amazed. I don't recall any, any of that. Any? I, I, I recall this Mr. Weber's case. You have amnesia case. about it. Again, I, I am unaware of any formal complaint or investigation. Certainly was not. You believe in the tooth fairy? Senator, I don't. You believe in the Easter Bunny? Now, in this case, United States v. Von Rico Weber, you lied to the defense counsel. And the defense counsel then had to go before the court and withdraw a plea for his counsel. And a complaint was filed about which you apparently have amnesia. And the Justice Department replaced you. And the lawyer from the Justice Department who replaced you, this is what the, the, the lawyer said, the, the new attorney said about you. So these allegations against Mr. Ritz are, quote, serious 
and it is taken so seriously, referring to the Department of Justice, by our office, that is one of the reasons I'm here, and Mr. Ritz will be more than likely be taken off this case because of those allegations. End quote. You lied to Senator Hawley, didn't you? I didn't lie to the defense counsel in that case. I didn't lie today, Senator. Now, my good friend Senator Ossoff asked you if you'd follow the law. And you said, yeah. But if you're lying to us today, we're stuck with you, aren't we? Senator, I have not lied and did not lie in that case. You just have amnesia. I did not lie in that case. There was a written plea agreement with the entire agreement of the parties. If you believe that, you believe Elvis is alive and running a small bait stand on Lake Erie. Shame on you. Mr. Ritz, uh, 